people. We want to still do it saying other people, church, are talking to you. Have you forgotten that once we were brought here, we were robbed of our name, robbed of our language. We lost our religion, our culture, our God. And many of us, by the way we act, we even lost our mind. Please hang up and try again. This is Kalua Queen and I gave my mouth liberty. Today, I want to talk to black people. Yes, you. You black people. All black people. Light skin, dark skin, medium brown, real black, tan, yellow, high yellow, short hair, long hair, good hair, curly hair, Spanish speaking black, French speaking blacks, Portuguese speaking black, Dutch speaking blacks, and English speaking blacks are talking to you, black people. You hear me? Black people. Black people of the new world, the western hemisphere, black people. We want to still do it saying other people church. You, you realize that this is the religion that was given to you by your colonizers and your oppressors. So I just want to know, we you still do it saying other people church? Singing sweet praises to that pretty white long hair Jesus. That Jesus. Why would I still, why would I still call out to that Jesus? But black people, Christianity is not yours. Christianity is the religion foisted upon you by your colonizer, by your oppressor. The man that kept you enslaved for 300 years. Black people, please wake up, wake up. If your oppressor and your colonizer was really in tune with that good God, would he have kept you enslaved for 300 years? Black people of the new world, if there really was a God looking out for you, would he not have freed you from slavery after 300 years? Black people of the new world, reason me this. How is it that your colonizer, your oppressor, sold you the idea of a good God and a sweet Jesus but kept you in chains for 300 years. And some black people would like to say, you know, it's a good thing that we was in slavery because we get out of Africa and we learn about Jesus and God and get some good Christianity. Seriously? You think that is a good deal? Seriously? Black people? Seriously? I figure if God was all powerful and all knowing and wanted to show himself to black people in Africa, he could just as well have done that. What kind of God is this that he need them kind of henchmen to come and drag you out of your home, throw you in the bottom of a boat, stick you down there with another 300 side by side that you can't even move, sail you across the Atlantic for the new world and then sell you away just to reveal himself to you and then keep you in bondage for 300 years so that you would come to know him. Black people, please wake up. Why are you still in love with this religion? Black people, please wake up. And then somebody had the nerve to say, well, you see God had to punish us because he was worshiping all kind of funny idols and gods in Africa, so he had to teach us a lesson. Wake up. He needed to teach you a lesson for 300 years. This all powerful God had to see fit that you were removed from your homeland and displaced and dispersed all over the new world because he was throwing a tantrum that you had other gods and he wasn't the only one. Black people, please wake up and realize that this god is more like a jealous boyfriend and that someone, most likely a man, invented him. Black people, wake up. He sought to calm you with Christianity and the meek shall inherit the earth. Work a little harder. Jesus will be here soon and the meek shall inherit the earth. Black people of the new world, when your ancestors were in bondage, the colonizers and the oppressors were already in paradise. They was already in their big plantation houses with the nice high ceilings and cool air blowing through. Now come the 21st century, and black people still filling this void with the likes of T.D. Jakes, stinking Juanita Bynum, Shady Eddie Long, even Shady Reverend Ike, Beat Daughter, Creflo, Grabbing Dollars, and all the other fakes and flakes 
that they got populating the TV and the circuit with the mega churches taking all your money and your hope. Black people, wake up. Black people, it's time to wake up and realize that no sweet Jesus is coming and the only God that there is is you. The only God that there exists is inside of you. They don't want you to know that. They want you to keep coming and they want you to keep praying. Oh, and don't forget, bring the money. You got tithe. 10% of your Black people, please wake up. They've been hustling you for 300 years. Please don't let it be four. Black people, this is the 21st century. It is time to pick up a book. It is time to throw off this old Bronze Age thinking. 300 years gone, you're living in the 21st century. This is not 1600. We have been sleepwalking for 300 years and it is time to wake up. If we are going to make any change and we are going to move forward, it will be because we do it. Black people, wake up. We cannot hold on any longer. Please hang up and try again. We have been holding on to that phone for 300 years and by now there's nobody on the other end. And actually I hear in Dalton, black people of the new world, it is time to get moving and stop praying. Do something in your community, make something happen. Stop putting on your fancy church hat every Sunday and walking into church and styling and jumping through the aisles. What are you doing for your community? Black people of the new world, we have too many problems. And clasping your hands together, closing your eyes and praying is not going to solve any of them. AIDS, diabetes, high rate of imprisonment, high blood pressure, low graduation rate from schools. Chances are, your fancy pastor probably never even finished school. It's time to reach for the stars, see your possibilities, reach higher and go further. Black people in the new world, I'm talking to you. It is time to wake up time to start acting like your oppressors and make things happen. Your oppressors didn't sit around praying, your oppressors got on the board. They went to Africa, they made shit happen. We're talking to the black people in the New World, especially the ones in the Caribbean. Start asking some questions of your fancy pastor and your fancy priest. It is not a crime to think. Black people of the New World, it is not a bad thing to open your mind and start thinking for yourself. Black people of the New World, I suspect that you are more afraid to think than anything else. Sweet Jesus is not going to be mad. Sweet Jesus probably never even existed. Black people of the New World, you have been sold a bag of goods and you bought it. Black people of the New World, it is time to move. Black people of the New World, I am speaking to you. It is time to wake up. This is Kalua Queen. I just give my mouth liberty, a gone.